Next stop, Houston. They're all vibrating. Yeah. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> You ready to go to Houston? Oh yeah. <laughs> Made it to Mexico. <laughs> We're, uh, yeah, I got detained at the airport for a little bit. It's over there. Now we're walking to our ride that will get us to the hotel. Oh. There's a hot tub. Oh yeah, that's what we want. Damn. No water though, huh? Uh, I, will, I wonder if you, you can probably turn on cold water, yeah? Sure. And it's covering so it's ringing. Nice. It's exactly right on there. Okay. Very cool. Man, what a what a day. How do you turn the AC on? Still just shooting on the phone. Here's what the bathroom looks like. Nice like see-through in the shower. Okay, we'll, we'll watch the LEP. Did you flush the toilet before we left the normal? Yes. Alright, so we've left the hotel. We're walking uh, just one block over right now. It's pretty dark. Uh, we got some music ahead of us. Uh, we're, we're going to find food right now. It sounds like live music and it sounds awesome. Yeah, I think this whole street's gonna be really cool. Nice. Hello. Hi, well you don't need to think about jumping. <laughs> hey. Whoop. Found our way to this outside little mercado. First beer. Okay, we made it back to the to the room. Barely. Barely. We uh, went to the uh, Mercado 60, and then we wanted to make sure we had some water, uh, so we looked for a convenience store, and there was like 1.3 miles, so we went to the first one. Hopefully, your boobs aren't in this. I can always blur them out. Just blur them. Blur out those boobs. <laughs> and uh, the first uh, convenience store doesn't accept cards and we haven't uh, converted currency over yet. So I went to another one and at that point 
we're like, okay, we're far enough away. Let's put the hotel into GPS and find it from there. Well, we don't have service, even though I downloaded the map. And so it was a lot of searching and looking and carrying very, very heavy bottles of water. Like this. I was trying to show some, some scale. I mean, 10 liters. So I don't know if that's what that first two in like gallons, um, maybe three. So pretty big thing to carry for some miles. And then Haley carried the slightly smaller one, but still heavy. But anyway, we are back and really, really hot. Probably not going to go out any any longer tonight or in settle in it's been a long day of traveling and our bellies are full of burritos and uh, it is air conditioning here and three million degrees out there all right finally pulled out the big camera we uh, slept a lot last night I can't remember how many hours Haley said, but I think I got, I got nearly 10. Definitely need to hit. Um, so we're getting ready. Um, we're gonna go to this little cafe called uh, Santa, Santa Volte Lucia. Like point, point 0.4 miles from here. Four miles. Point 0.4 miles. I don't know how many kilometers that is. Still trying to learn kilometers in Celsius. So let's get sunscreen on. Oh, yeah. And then after we get some breakfast, we're going to go to an ATM to exchange some American dollars for pesos. We've been able to use uh, a credit card for the most part, but we did run into one spot where that didn't work. And it would just be nice to have pesos in our hand. Right now, the exchange rate is roughly 16 American dollars to... No, no, no. 16 pesos to one American dollar. Haley's eating eggs and cheese. like <laughs> How hot is it, Haley? <laughs> it's cooking out here, my goodness. We're on our way to an ATM right now to, to exchange some, some dollars for pesos. Got some ice wrapped in there, a little ice necklace. That's, that's it. Nice. Nice ice. Nice ice. Oh, yeah, God. Oh. Uh, so we've been sitting on this bench for a little while. We just got some uh, iced coffee from a place down, down the way. I don't know if you call this a main road in town, but. A fancy it's, Yeah, it's a kind of fancier road with a lot of big colonial plantation houses of sort. And we're just walking, looking at stuff, introducing ourselves to birds. I'm gonna film your pen number. Yeah. The path to Walmart. I almost said McDonald's. Actually, I might look at the clothes first. That way I can maybe change in the back. Okay. I just feel, I don't know, it doesn't really matter that much, but I feel self-conscious in a wet t-shirt without a bra. Oh, sure. And yeah. a belly shirt on top of that. Something like this. We got a Mexican Walmart. Would you just look at it? It's uh, a little different. We made our way back to the room. Did quite a bit of walking today. Um, 
when we were in that Walmart, I started to like feel my hands. It just kind of started to feel like they were maybe a little bit swollen and then maybe in my feet too. So I wanted to get back to the room. Uh, I wasn't sure if it was something major or not. Um, looked it up and I think it's common to happen in like really, really hot places after you're standing or walking for too long. Uh, now that we've been back and cooled off and we're, we're both pretty much naked. Uh, but yeah, after we've had some time to, to chill out, like I definitely feel a lot better. Haley found an app with the logo of a mustache. Don't remember what it's called, but we got some uh, some vegan food. I got a portobello burrito. Haley got a tofu burrito. Tofu burrito and some sort of uh, cheesy potatoes. I'm curious if it's real cheese or not. Yeah, it's hot. Woo! Do you think it's real cheese? Yeah. No. Okay. Swirl on your feet too. Oh god. Mm, how is it? Not too cold, not too hot. Oh, great. All right, I'm coming in. How about now? Do it again. Yeah, real cool. Real cool. Get out of here, mosquito. Yeah. <clears throat> Earlier, we went to this coffee shop. Oh, did I finally get that mosquito? Went to this coffee shop down the way, and we're still trying to figure out how pesos convert to our understanding of money and I guess it's roughly 16 pesos to a dollar right now and then we have you know a couple coins which you know this one is five pesos so not very much uh, actual money at all uh, but we Haley got a tea and we were just trying to figure out how much to tip him you know and that's still like you know like 10 15 percent here and how much would we pay for the tea? I think three pesos. Well, that's how much. Oh, we I don't know that. how much the tea was. Okay, well, anyway, we paid tea, which was, which was pretty much a, like a normal price that you would pay in the states, and we're like, okay, how much do we tip? And if we handed them like three pesos, which it's like twenty cents. Twenty US cents. Dollars. We're like, here you go. <laughs> we'll feel like dicks now, or like a. Like an old grandma tipping, <laughs> tipping somebody for pushing their shopping cart out. Here's a nickel. Now we've learned uh, to not make that mistake again. Do a little bit better, and roughly 20 pesos is like a decent tip, I think, for yeah. for a coffee. So we're gonna keep the 20 and the 50 pesos for for tipping, and then the somewhat larger bills for for other stuff. They have water out there. Yep. Thanks. Nice. So we spent a while on this patio right here, which really does trick you on what the temperature is going to be. Like it's, it's all open air, but the sides are so high that it is a lot cooler in there. Uh, so it feels, I don't know, like 80 degrees, but it's actually still 100. Uh, but we are taking off now to walk about 18 minutes to this park down the way uh, where there might be like an open air market and I don't know, like a lot of stuff going on in the area. I like that it does feel so different than the US. Mm hmm. Yeah, me too. Some of these old boots painted Coca-Cola.
Tate. We made it to Pacifico. Both of us kind of slept Progresso. on. <laughs> Progresso. Progresso. Both of us kind of slept on the, the bus most of the time. We just the place we walked down. We got offered everything from blankets to food to to coconuts to everything. A lot of vendors. Oh, that's why there's a dinosaur here. Yeah. Uh, this is where the meteorite crashed somewhere around here that killed all the dinosaurs. Yeah. I think a little farther down. Okay. Towns, like, oh, but we're close. Yeah. Very cool. <laughs> He's loving it, they're loving it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, did the haircut thing. I'm not sure if I like it or not, but I figured just whatever happens, happens, and that's all right. We're walking back to the hotel so I can uh, take a shower, get this hair off, and actually find out if I like it. Our hotel has water again. It's been out for about a day. So what are we doing? We're gonna go get food and then we're gonna go to the market. Nice. So after I got my hair cut, we came back here. I think I already said this, but to shower and we've just been relaxing a little bit. We, uh, our Haley went to a place a block away to get some pastries. And we munched on those. 
sat next to the pool out front. And now that it's, it's like nearly 5.30 and the sun is not as high in the sky, we're taking off again and we're going to the market. Uh, just kind of farting around. So far on this, this trip, I realized I haven't brought out the camera too much. So, and I think that trend's gonna continue. Just kind of getting little clips here and there, little photos here and there for, uh, for us to remember this. Not so much as like a comprehensive story. Look at market number two today, Mercado Dos. Ah, custard apples. Huh? Yeah, that's so nice. Haley got herself a fan. I'm gonna show off your, your design. Look at that shit. <laughs> and I got myself some uh, gummy candies. I'm not sure exactly what they are, but I love uh, gummies with with a uh, chili and and whatnot on them. I see. I've seen these in the states, but uh, the pink ones. Oh. This is so good. Okay. Yeah. Can you hold this so I can smell? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's so good. All right, we just came from a coffee shop. On the way here, we walked past this coffee garden. Uh, looks really nice, so we're gonna go get another coffee. <laughs> Look at our stuff in the mirror. <laughs> oh yeah. Like we're in a little rainforest. We got moved because it started to rain, but this table is like a big, big, big door. We got caught in the rain coming back from that that uh, Mercada and the, the garden coffee place. It feels great, but got to be careful and not get this camera too wet. Just like another block until uh, we're back at the hotel. Okay, not too wet. She's all wet. No. All right, having Haley record me try these, uh, what I think are just gummy treats. Oh, I don't have my knife with me. Oh, uh, hell. Yeah. She 
if I can get these open quick. Uh, I, I like to get from from Winco these uh, these Mexican treats that are kind of like like peach gummy rings with chamoy and then uh, chili on them. Ow. What can I use? Things. Sucks not having a knife. Maybe you go ask the front desk hey, got it. for scissors? Okay, got it. Okay. Okay, it does have like a maybe a peach smell. All right. Or no, just like peach, but like shaped like maybe a mango or a human kidney. Yeah, mango flavor on the inside. Mango, orange. That's excellent. Hope you do decide to try because it is awesome. Seu espelho, olho d'água Ouro, pele negra Numa pedra cocorada Lá na cachoeira eu coroei A minha amada Ouro, me maior Ouro, ouro, me Eu beijei a flor Nasceu a flor Na minha estrada Ouro, me maior Salve essa riqueza, natureza peculada, mãe da minha avó, a pior. 